Good day all. Greetings from Gauteng. My name is Vidos Zavajakovjevic. South Africa's distinct charm comes from its history, moments of change, strides of progress, indescribable natural beauty, sovereign physical attributes and pure mystique. Our country features numerous biomes, from savanna grasslands, forests to the succulent Karoo, just to name a few. It hosts mountains, unspoiled beaches, and a coastline spanning 3,000 kilometers. The Prince Edward and Marion Islands, which fall a part of South Africa, produce research findings in weather and climate, marine biology, and various ecosystem interactions. The contrast in temperature from the east to the west of South Africa affects vegetation and climatic conditions. This can be accorded to the warm Mozambican Gullis current skirting the east and south coast, while the Benguela current flows northwards along the west coast. Thus, the west coast is essential to the fishing industry, as cold waters are more richer in oxygen, other minerals and plankton. One cannot captivate this awe-invoking country in a five-minute video, so I'll focus on the topic at hand. What makes Gauteng, my home, such a special place to study earth system sciences? Well, to answer such an intricate question, one must understand its multifaceted yet simplistic origin. As a scientist, one must learn how to choose a good scientific problem and tackle it objectively and identify what impact the results derived have. How does one identify such? What constitutes a good problem? And are we smart enough to figure out on our own as scientists and through learning from our educators, mentors and supervisors alike? Does our choice of problem to dissect lead us to results meriting publication resulting in a job and tenure? Or do our works echo results that embody universal intellectual standards and do justice to complex matters, influence social and political decision making, and represent an honest, content answer within ourselves on our idiosyncratic choices to better the lives of ourselves and our progeny? These are just a few questions to think of when looking at problems and answers in earth system sciences. So what makes Gauteng special from my idiosyncratic view? Gauteng is the engine, the economic engine of South Africa, responsible for 30% of the country's GDP. It is also the heart of commercial business and the industrial sector. It is densely populated and has a high level of urbanization. The province blends colors, cultures, and first and third world traditions in a spirited mix. Geologically, it's predominantly based on granite, quartzite, dolomite, and shale. Climatically, Gauteng is typically warm, not humid, wind-free during summer, and winters are bearably chilly with frost. This is due to the altitude, the direction of winds, its proximity, topography, terrain, and most importantly, the anthropogenic contributions. Gauteng boasts 3,303 plant species, 125 mammal species, 483 bird species, 23 amphibian species. All of these are highly threatened by industrialization, mines, agriculture, and the high rates of urbanization. In essence, the mining dominates the West End and the manufacturing the eastern end of Gauteng. There are numerous townships in formal settlements such as the renowned Soweto, Mamelodi and Quatema. There are valuable bird sanctuaries as well, nature reserves, wetlands of international importance such as the Blessbrook Sprite near Springs. Also the Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens which are also a unique important attraction. Gauteng houses some of the most honorable and valuable educational research and awesome institutes such as the University of Pretoria, Johannesburg, Wits, UNISA, the CSIR, NRF, Agricultural Research Council, the Onestepoet Veterinary Institution, Cybono, the South African National Space Agency and SAMBI. More than 60% of South Africa's research and development takes place in Gauteng. But the question still stands, what makes Gauteng such a special place to study earth system sciences? Simply put, it's the anthropogenic factors that have a rippling effect due to the high populace, fast-paced urbanization, mining and agricultural activities, and many industrialized areas. 
an effect on the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere observed. Um, yeah. So, in summary, with the high populace, interesting studies can be made due to the anthropogenic effects on our environment and ourselves. So, fields of interest could include acid mine drainage, rehabilitation of mines, epidemiology, food security, pest control, energy usage, conservation, and the effects of land settlements. So when considering what aspect of Gauteng to study, consider what lies at heart, as we do have the backdrop and the facilities to find the answers. Hambani gahye!